In this video, I'm gonna show you how to bring a calendar up on the screen when you press a button. So if I click this show dialog button, it's gonna bring a calendar up onto the screen. I can then select any date. I'll just select, you know, March 21st, 2019, click okay. And then that date is gonna be displayed down here in a text view. So it says month, day, year, the month is two. Uh, the selector index starts at zero. So March is two, January is zero, February is one, March is two. Uh, 21st, 2019. Uh, then I could select, you know, any other date wouldn't matter. July 3rd, 2019, click that. You can see that text view is updated. So this is obviously going to be great if you need to use any kind of a date. If you have to have your users select any kind of a date in your applications, which chances are pretty much every application is going to have users selecting some kind of a date at some point. So definitely a very valuable skill to know. So here we have the create a new project window open. I'm going to click on empty activity, go to next. I'm gonna name it date picker dialogue example and click finish. After Android Studio has built your project, you should be seeing something like what I'm seeing here on the screen. Uh, the first step in this procedure is actually setting up the layout. So I'm gonna go into activity main and the first thing I'm gonna do is add a button. So this is gonna be that button that I pressed to bring open the calendar. So I'm gonna give it a width of wrap content, a height of wrap content, and then I'm gonna put some text inside this button. So the text is just gonna say show dialogue. That's just to let the user know that it's going to open up that calendar as soon as they click it. Now, since I'm using a constraint layout, I need to add some constraints to the button. So I wanna do a constraint left to the parent, constraints it to the left side of the view, constraint right, so to the right of the parent, which constraints it to the right of the view, and then constraint top, to the top of the parent, which obviously constrains it to the top of the view. Now I need to give it an ID. So I'll give it an ID of show dialog, and that should be it for our button. Next we can work on the text view. So I'll leave this, dem this dummy text in here for now uh, because eventually we're gonna wanna put the date here. I'm gonna give it some color. So I'm just changing the color to black, just gonna make it a little darker some text size to make it a little larger. I'll say 21 SP. And now we need to work on the constraints. So they, we want it to constrain to the bottom, that's fine. Left is fine, the right is fine, but I want to constrain it, constrain the top to the bottom, so to bottom of the, the button that sits above it. So this is that show dialog button. Now I'm going to give this an ID, so give it an ID. The ID of this is gonna be the date text. And now that this text view has an ID, I can change the constraints of the button. So I wanna to go to add a new constraint to the button, so constraint bottom, and I wanna constrain the bottom of the button to the top of that date text. And that's just gonna kinda of bring everything into the center. So you have the show dialog button, and then you have the text here for displaying that date. And that's all we need to do in activity main. Now we can go into main activity and write all the code required to show the dialog, uh, capture the date, and then display it in that text view. So first, let's declare the uh, the text view. So private text view, I'll call it date text. Then I'll go down into on create and attach that text view to its ID. So date text equals find view by ID. R.id.date text is the ID that we gave it in activity main. So if we look in here, we have that date text ID right there, which is what I'm referring to here. So I'm attaching that to its ID. Next, we don't actually need to attach the button to its ID because all we need to do with the button is attach an on-click listener. So I can just do find view by ID, r.id.show dialog, referencing that show dialog button. I can do set on-click listener and then do new on-click listener. So I'm writing capital O, N, and you can see that on-click on -click listener interface pops up, just clicking on there. And then now whenever the button is clicked, this on-click listener will trigger. And we can use that to show the dialog. So now I'm gonna build a method for actually showing that dialog. So I'm gonna go private void show date picker dialog. And inside here, I wanna do date picker dialog, date picker dialog equals new date picker dialog. And now we have a bunch of properties that we need to pass to the constructor of the dialog. The first is the context, which is just this because we're in an activity. The second is a listener that's gonna trigger when we actually select a date. For now, I'm going to put this, even though that's going to give me an error. Um, next is the, uh, the date that, that, the, that the dialogue, that the calendar will show when it first opens. 
So this is the year parameter. I can get a reference to what year it is by writing calendar.getInstance.get and then reference calendar, calendar, am I spelling calendar wrong? Cal and dar, I am spelling it wrong, calendar, dot year. That's going to be the year that is shown right away. Now I'm going to press control D to copy that line. And the next parameter is the month. So that's the month that's going to show as soon as the calendar opens. Control D one more time. And then I want to select the day uh, that's going to show when the calendar first, first opens. So you go day of month. And that's the only properties that I need. I can add a semicolon down there and do date picker dialog dot show. And it looks like I made a mistake here. I accidentally left a comma. And this is going to give me an error because uh, it's saying here, if we look at this little output, this yellow box, it's telling me that I don't have a listener. Uh, remember, I passed, I passed this referencing a listener, but we don't actually have a listener. So I need to, I need to add a listener to the activity. So I need to go implements the on date set listener, and there you can see that error goes away because now this is referring to this listener. Uh, but now I have a new error. So what now? What's this saying? Because I implemented the on date listener interface, I need to implement the required override methods. So if I press Alt Insert, I can go Implement Methods, and there's the on date set method, and then that error will go away. So I have the override method that's going to be triggered when a date is selected. I have my dialog, uh, and I'm going to show my dialog in the on click listener. So as soon as that button is pressed in Activity Main, which is the uh, Show Dialog button right here. It will call the show date picker dialog method. The date picker dialog will show. And then when I select a date, the on date set method will trigger and it will give me uh, the date that was selected. So now that the last step is taking that date that was selected and displaying it in the text view. So I'm going to create a new string. I'm going to call it date and set it equal to month, uh, day, year, year. And then do a... Uh, do a space, and then I want to concatenate that with the month, do a slash, and then I want to do the day, so day of month, add something else, do another slash, and then the last thing is the year. And that's a string that we're going to show in the text view. So I'm going to do date text dot set text, and then set it to that date. And that should be everything that we need to do. Now I'm going to run it, and we can take a look and see if we're getting the expected output. All right, so here we have the app on the screen. Uh, that hello world text is being displayed just to kind of start obviously because I didn't remove that from here. So if you didn't want that to be displayed, you can just remove that and you wouldn't be seeing that hello world text. Uh, but I'm going to click on show dialogue. That brings up our dialogue. I'm going to select, I don't know, March 14th, click OK. And there you can see we have month, day, year. The month is two, which is actually, yeah, so zero is January, February is uh, one, and then March is two. Uh, then the 14th and 2019. I can try another one, just select a different uh, month. So I'm going to select May 9th. And so there we have the fourth, the fourth month, zero is January. So uh, that's correct. May is the, that's, May is technically the fifth month in the year, but because the index starts at zero, you see four here. So four, nine, 2019, May 9th, 2019. And that's it. That's how you use a date picker dialog to, uh, to get a date, to capture a date input, and then display that date in a text view. That's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're a beginner and you want more information on how to get started building Android apps, go to codingwithmitch.com and take my Room Persistence Library SQLite for Beginners 2019 course. It's a free course. You can get it by just clicking here. And that's going to show you how to build, how to basically get started with Android development, all of kind of the beginner skills that you need, and how to build a real application. So if you want to check that out, go to the course page, click on course demo, and watch the course demo and see what the course is all about.